Hi all, welcome to clickshare.com. In this video, we'll see how to include variables while applying bookmarks. So let's go to ClickView and let's see a practical example. So if you see here, I've created two simple variables. One is include variable and the other one is exclude variables. And I'll show you the same in variable overview window. So this has simple values, apple, apple at the moment. And I have an update variable button. And if you look at the actions, simple action, which is set variable, which is include variable. And then I'm saying, if the value is apple, change it to orange or else change it back to apple. I'm trying to toggle between two values while setting the variable. And same goes with the exclude variable. So just to show you the functionality, if I click on this, things will, if I click on this, both the variables will change to orange. And if I click on this back again, it will come back to Apple. So you can toggle between Apple and orange, which is fine. And um, now let's assume that we wanted to create a bookmark and we wanted to store the variables as well when you're applying the bookmark. By default, ClickView will not store the variables. To prove what I'm saying, so let's go ahead and select uh, probably customer one, two, and three, and then let's go ahead and apply the bookmark. And I will call this variables not, uh, probably variables excluded. And I would just keep this default options and click on OK and hit the clear button. And now if I change the variable to orange, let's go ahead and change this to orange and let's apply the bookmark. So clicking on bookmarks and click on variables excluded, click on that. So we will get the selections one, two, three, but your bookmark doesn't store the value apple for include variables and the exclude variables. If you're designing an active view application which revolves around the bookmarks as your core functionality, this may not be very, very useful. However, there is an option which you can explicitly set for each variable in your document properties setting. So let me go to document properties. And if you see here, I've gone to the variables tab. By default, it will land on the general tab. So click on the variables tab. And here you have this very simple option or the tiny option, which is very, very helpful. So let's go ahead and check this option. And for the next one, I'm not going to check this option. So we can see the difference how these variables behave when we apply bookmark. So I'm going to click on apply, click on OK. Now I'll hit the clear button. This time I'll reset it again to Apple. That's my default option. I'll make a different selection. Uh, this time I'll select female as gender. Let me, sorry, let me close this window. So I've selected female as gender. And now let's go ahead and up create a bookmark, add bookmark. And this time I'm calling it as include variables. Okay. And now I'll change this to update variables. So we've changed them to orange and I'll hit the clear button so that we'll remove any selections like there's a selection on gender now, hit the clear button. And now if I go ahead and apply the bookmark, let me go ahead and apply include variables. If you see that include variable has changed to Apple and also try, while applying the bookmark on while applying the field selection on gender equals to female. So I'll show you again if I go ahead and change this and hit the clear button and click on bookmark and say include variables. So this changes back to Apple. You remember the first bookmark didn't remember the selections and the variable value but the second one does remember the variable and the value so this is a very simple technique but it's a very powerful technique while using bookmarks in conjunction with variables i hope you find this video useful 
I would encourage you to participate in ClickView question of the day, where I ask ClickView questions on a regular basis. You can answer them to assess your knowledge. You can see the instant results and you can also compare results with other developers and designers. Thank you for watching. Have a good day.